Hello everybody, we're from Milwaukee to Nashville, uh, from, featuring the Florida Everglades. From Florida to Milwaukee. <laughs> to Nashville. <laughs> to Nashville to the Stanley Cup. No, to us to Nashville, so let's well, yeah, you're, you, we're on. We're on the, your guys are on the way. I yeah, as soon close as we get these videos out. done, me and this guy are going down to Nashville. We're yep. going to the bridge. All right, so um, last week, uh, or earlier I'm this week. I'm Chris Bodwood. Who are you? I'm um, I'm anonymous, but you can call me Matt. So you are part of that uh, hacker group? No. Okay then. <laughs> I right, your videos. That's that's enough incident. of hacking. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh, what happened uh, this past week. All right. So five people uh, tragically lost their lives in a heinous act of murder at the Miller Molson Coors uh, Brewing in, here in Milwaukee. It is over a hundred years uh, staple in our community. And uh, they five people tragically lost their lives because somebody got fired. The the details on why he got fired are hazy at this point. Yeah, we hear plenty many stories. So right now our biggest concern is just staying strong for our community. Mm -hmm. And uh, speaking of our community, uh, we also like to give a goodwill shout out to our friends at WASA, the Wisconsin Adaptive Sports Administration. Uh, we Adaptive these, Sports Association. Association. What did I say? Administration? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, they're really, I don't want to say they're really corporate about their stuff. But <laughs> no, but uh, we sit uh, we sit next to these guys all the time at uh, Admiral's game. You and me, uh, Dan specifically, we sit with these guys. They are part of the sled hockey team that uh, the Admiral sponsor. Uh, we're hoping to get them on the show at one point to talk about sled hockey or maybe even experience sled hockey. On uh, get some of their input of how they feel about the game, maybe doing a little expose on what it's like to be part of a sled hockey team. Uh, other groups that they uh, sponsor through uh, sports is their uh, wheelchair basketball that the Bucks do. Uh, wheelchair will cross through Marquette. Not sponsored. Not, well, not sponsored, but again, just new, just showing that uh, how many uh, active members of the sports community uh, reach out to this uh, disabled sports group. Uh, they also do like what was it, wheelchair tennis, wheelchair bowling, uh, gold ball, rub, uh, quad rugby, and all of that's funded through uh, grants and uh, donations from uh, people like us and you. Uh, the best way to reach and see what they was their organization, how to donate to them, is through wasa.org. They've got a straight donation link. Uh, we can put a donation button at the bottom of our videos on Facebook. Hey, that we created. That we that we can do. We can do that. And uh, they it's all apparently we people. recreated that button. Yeah, well, we can make a button. It's Anybody a good can cause. Uh, donate if you can, or at least spread the word. It's a great it's a great cause, and uh, they deserve all of our support. Yeah. Speaking of support, somebody that supports us. Our founding sponsors at Hockey Locker. 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee's number one one-stop shop for all your hockey needs. You could get everything from, well, from helmets to skates and everything in between. Unfortunately, you can't find a competent ref. No, <laughs> not at all. Not even the glasses. Ah, I stole that line from one of you guys. You stole it from me, I'm suing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But you, yep, you can get everything from uh, the helmets on the top of your head to the skates at the bottom of your feet. Not just limited to ice skates, though. You can get inline skates and... Uh, figure skates. And you can get them sharpened there too, and they have a drop off window. Leave your contact info, and you can get your skate sharpened you can almost any time. This lovely Nashville Predator hat. That is a nice hat. I have a nice hat too. I like this hat. I like this jersey. I'm not wearing my Admirals jersey though, but if I wanted to get a new one out of spite for not having one, I could just go to Hockey Locker and get one there and possibly even get it customized too. Yeah. And you could get a Preds jersey while you're there too, because yeah, they have the true. they have the Adidas ones. Yeah. This is he's currently rocking the Reebok one. The Reebok is yeah, old school. <laughs> Alright, so into why we are all here. We're about to go take a journey down to the swamp. Let's talk about some You going there too? Hockey. Hey, what's up, Swampy? <laughs> and the Everbabes. Oh, no, that's that's a whole different topic. <laughs> oh, yes, that's the Everblades cheerleaders, everyone. Just uh, so you know, I'm not offending Not knocking them. them. Not knocking them. Nope. I'm actually just saying that, that they actually have cheerleaders, and, and we were talking of, we've seen them on their webpage. Yep. We're not going to do an editorial. Don't no. Worry. We're not, <laughs> not going to do that. No. <laughs> I know. Um... um 
any way we can show love to the to the Florida system, they do a really good job down there. Yeah, uh, and they also have your favorite name for an arena ever. Yeah, because it hurts a lot. They're yeah. going to put a hurt on <laughs> Every yeah. time someone comes to play there, it hurts, don't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Speaking of hurts, they put a hurt thing on uh, Jacksonville. Ouch. Woo! Owie, owie, owie. They had it pretty well matched up in the owie, first, but then hurts. the second happened. <laughs> so uh, we had how many shots on goal? Let's take a look. Uh, we had a total of uh, 37 for Jacksonville and uh, 34 for Florida. Very even uh, scoring. Or uh, shoots, excuse me. Not equal scoring. <laughs> First period, we had a goal by Michael Hunterbrinker, assisted by Hunter Garland and Nick Ford. Uh, next up would be notched up by Jacksonville with a goal by Michael Hedden and an assist by Luke Shiplow. This show completely reminded me of something I have to do this week. Oh, no. Carry on. <laughs> anyway, uh, the second period, a uh, goal scored by Michael Hunterbrinker with an assist by Derek Angeli. Angeli and Hunter Garland. Then uh, Florida scored short-handed with, an with a goal by M Hunter Garland with an assist by Michael Hunterbrinker. I'm starting to see a pattern here, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, tell me where this pattern doesn't stop going, oh, Chris. <laughs> uh, and then the third and final goal of the second period was also by Hunter Garland with an assist from Derek Angel and um Michael Hunterbrinker. The, the, the streak continues. Hunter Brinker. All, All right, right, you can take the third. All right, and then uh, Jacksonville gets their second goal. Is that equal strength? Uh, the goal is by Hayden Shaw with an assist from Adam Dota. and uh, John Albert. And then, uh, who and is that? Uh, Livio. Lefko Cooper. Get, uh, with the goal, gets an assist by Michael Neville. Neville. And, oh uh, my god! Oh, oh, oh goalie assist! Cam and Johnson. That was it. A 5 2 beatdown in the Jacksonville Ice. A goalie assist on an empty net. Ooh, 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 ooh. I must know. He stopped 35 mm -hmm. with a 94.5 save percentage. 35 with 37. It's still not bad. For Jacksonville, who does goalie do? Adam, oh, no, Ben Halford. Ouch. Any, any relation to Ron Halford? He had 29 saves. With an 85.2 save percentage. Oof. Um, yeah, not that good of a night for Jacksonville. Very good night for the uh, state of Florida, however. So really <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, some good news? Oh, yeah, what'd they do today? What did they do today? I don't know what they did today. Did they get David Aries in that? I'm just kidding. No, man. Can, can I make it? Can I make it? Go ahead. Go on. Uh, the Florida Everblades clinched an appearance in the Kelly Cup playoffs this Ooh. year. So congratulations, Everblades. You've gone to the playoffs. Now you got to cheer us up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, we're, we cheered you on. You're in. We're not yet. We got a ways to go. Like, how many games? Like, oh, well, yeah, you even said, like, what, 12 games? Yeah. We got 12 points to go. So congratulations, Everblades. Like Looks like uh, we'll be covering you even further this year. Yeah. yeah well, who would have thunk it? Our first year covering their team and they're in the playoffs. Yeah. We're the I just hope they charm. maintain their own relationship. Actually, think about it. We friends. come in last year, the Admirals make the playoffs. Yep. Predators are in the playoffs. Yep. We come in this year, Admirals are in the playoffs. They're in the playoffs. The playoffs. And, uh, Nashville's the scratching. Nashville's grinding. Hashtag embrace the grind. All right, let's do it. Uh, All we're right, going on what, the, they're where, going on the road. Where are we going? Where, where, where are we going? We're not going to Disney. We're going to Orlando instead. <laughs> uh, well, can we at least... They're going to Universal Studios. Oh. Well, can we at least stop Orlando. there? And I want to go to, uh, what is that, NXT's little studio over there? <laughs> but no, we're heading to Amway Center in Orlando to face the Orlando Solar Bears. What a mess. By the way, shout out to one of their assistant coaches, former Admiral. Oh, yeah. Uh, James Sixsmith. Oh, all righty. That's uh, cool. Um, Always cool to find alumni or, you know, former personnel. Yep. Um, so there's your top five, Chris. If you want to do those, go right at it. All right. Uh, leading scorer is, uh, who is it, Taylor Camarada? Yep. 
Uh, with 46 games played, he has 14 goals, 23 assists, and he currently has a negative three. Then we have uh, Trevor Olsen, 54 games played, 17 goals, 19 assists, and he has a plus minus of uh, plus six. Then we have uh, John O'May, he has 47 games played, 17 goals, 17 assists, and a negative five. Then we have Chris LeBlanc, 47 games played, 13 goals, 17 assists, and a negative one. And then we have uh, Jake Koffler, uh, 30 games played, 13 goals, 9 assists, and a plus 6. Oh, good God. Mikel Schlagen, minus Schalligan. 20. Schlagen, minus 20. Minus 20. Right, uh, defenseman, who you got? Yeah, guys? let me go on defenseman. I got this one. This one's mine. Uh, first, we have Michael Brodzinski with 50. Top 5. Uh, yep. Uh, Michael Brodzinski with uh, 53 games played, 8 goals, 26 assists with a plus 7. Next up we have Eric Droplik with 57 games played, 1 goal, 20 assists, and a negative 1. Followed by Cody Donahue with uh, 56 games played, 3 goals, 16 assists, and a negative 1. Rich Boyd with 33 games played, 7 goals, 4 assists, and a negative 4. And lastly, Blake Kessel with 22 games played, 3 goals, 4 assists, and a negative 3. Is there a relation to a certain guy named Phil Kessel? Yes. yes. Okay. He is also a former manager and former uh, admiral. Ah. Oh, yeah. All right, so their goal is down there in Orlando. Oof. Cuff. They have them? Uh, we have uh, Clint Windsor, 29 games played, 14 wins, 12 losses, 2 overtime losses, with a nine point, uh, point nine two five save percentage and a 2.51 goals against average. Then we got Jeff Smith, 7 games played, 3 wins, 3 losses, no overtime losses. So you played in 7 games yet? Okay, never mind, not going to ask. By the way, Clint <laughs> Windsor has 4 shutouts. Uh, Jeff Smith has a 3.28 Goals against average at 8.871 save percentage. And that is your preview. Woo! So, Florida. Congratulations, you, guys. You're going on to the Cali Cup playoffs. I'm going to the show. Alrighty. So, uh, we will see you guys. He will see you tomorrow. You yeah. Know. You will be doing the show tomorrow. Yep, I'll so, be doing one from Scenic My Room. <laughs> yep. Uh, so uh, we will be uh, we will be doing a show tomorrow from our hotel room in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. So yep. the Florida one will be a Facebook Live one, unfortunately. And the uh, Admirals one will be a Facebook Live one, unfortunately. Oh dear. Yeah. So sorry, YouTube guys, due to our traveling down to Tennessee tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. Um, unfortunately, well, you can still subscribe to us on YouTube. Try to get us up to 40 subscribers. Yep, that's the new goal. Yep, and also check out our editorial next week that we are doing AHL jerseys. Oh yep. dear, that'll be a YouTube exclusive. That'll be a YouTube headache too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap it. All right. By the way, don't forget to check out our wonderful friends and well, at Wausau at Wausau, Wisconsin Adaptive Sports Association yep. don't forget to go to WASA.org mm -hmm. click on the donate button on their page and you can find out all about donating to Wausau yep. three ways to donate to them and, and you can also, also you, visit our good buddies one second okay. uh, oh, you could also go out there and read about them on their about section and check out all their programs yep. but as Chris was saying, <laughs> we'd be nothing without our friends at Hockey Locker. 202 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee's number one stop shop for all your hockey needs. We are from Milwaukee to Nashville. And by the way, Nashville will be seeing you later. Oh dear. Watch out, everybody. We'll be in you later. <laughs> I have, I've, 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 laid, I've left out a warning to you guys. They're coming! They're coming! <laughs>